delicious. It's okay, Roberta. You'll like the ranch. It's only until your mom gets out of detox. You'll be home before you know it. Yeah. Oh, Michael, um, what about Judith? Oh, oh, Rachel. My hands are full right now. She just wants to watch you work at the ranch. Yeah, well, the last thing we need out there right now is a groupie. She's not a groupie. She comes highly recommended. Uh, Rachel, please. Michael, my department really wants you to take her. Well, some other time. Okay, Michael, it would have been such a nice gesture, seeing how this department always goes to bat for you and uh, is responsible for keeping the ranch going, but don't let that influence your decision. My deal with youth services is to take kids in trouble. It's not a training ground for social workers. It's okay. I understand. I'll just tell them you're too busy. When would you like to come, Rachel? I can't believe I blew those last two frames. Ah, relax, Buck. Milo wasn't such a good bowler when he was your age either. Beat you, didn't I? I thought you had this in fixed. Ah, it's that damn garage. Probably got a bunch of gooks working in the back. I knew I should have checked. Stupid thing. You know, that's the third one we've passed. We're creeping into the neighborhood like bugs. Yeah. Why don't we uh, say hello? Then, yeah. It's third offense of race-related violence. But this time, the violence wasn't against a person. It was against any Asian person who happened to read the message. Mr. Reed, please let defense counsel make his point. Buck is a fine, normal kid. I've spoken to him. He's just got himself into this racist thing because of his... his upbringing. That's how all racists learn their beliefs. They have to learn a set of new beliefs. Which Buck isn't going to get in a... Maximum security detention center. Your Worship, I'm not pushing for that. Well, then I fail to see how you can object to entering Buck into the ranch program. I've heard Dr. Terry has an excellent success rate with delinquents. He does, Mr. Riggs, but that's not what we're talking about. You see, Buck isn't just a delinquent. He's a racist. Well, I'm sure Dr. Terry can deal with the... I think, given time... Dr. Terry could have a positive effect on the boy. But what about the other kids at the ranch? Your Worship, 
Racism is insidious. It spreads from one immature young mind to another like a virus. Those kids at that ranch are out there with specific problems of their own. Mr. Reed, Buck Gaynor will spend his three-month sentence at the ranch. Hey, Vincent. What? Okay. You can mount up. I don't know. Come on, he won't bite you. I'd rather not. What's wrong, Roberta? I don't want to. Well, no one's forcing you. Judith, we don't need your help. Fox, you have to believe me when I tell you I'm... I'm sensing deep-seated inner fears and neuroses that are going to have to be addressed before she's ever going to get on. It could take months, even years. Roberta, get on that horse. Remember, no special treatment for this kid. Right. Right, I concur. Thank you. Well, just an observation. Mm -hmm. So, are we supposed to ignore what he says? No, just don't let him get to you. We know he's a racist. He thinks a little different than we do. Different? Well, I think what Dr. Terry's trying to say is... Is that it's not his fault. Kids learn from their parents. Aren't you making excuses for him? No, I'm not. I think he should be given a chance to see things differently. I still think Buck should be kept apart from the other kids. He's just one of the kids. He's got to learn that. No special treatment. Right. Right, chapter seven. That's wise. Vincent, how's it going, man? Yeah, good. Um, I'm gonna get this wagon fixed before I'm out of here. Well, I can get you an extension if you don't. Thanks. Well, I fixed the stall. That horse won't be going anywhere. Maybe you can find a stall for our visiting social worker. Judith's still trying? She knows it all. Before you get out, there's something I have to say to you. As a black man, I run into more racist slurs and comments than you can shake a stick at. Some are very ugly. But I refuse to let discrimination and hate get the better of me. See, that's your thing. And whether you like it or not, I exist. Ignoring me won't make me go away. <sighs> well, Buck. I can't ever remember enjoying a ride in the countryside more. And I do love a good conversation. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have one. Hey, Reed. How are you doing? Is this Buck? Sure is. Hey, Buck, tell Dr. Terry that joke you didn't tell me in the car. What happened? Michael, I'd rather be yelled at all day long, seven days a week than getting the silent treatment. He acted like I wasn't there. And I was driving. Well, don't let it get to you. I'm flattered by Buck's defense counsel thinking so highly of my ranch. Maybe you won't feel that way in a few days. Yeah. Bye, Buck. Bye, Buckwheat. Have fun. See you, Reed. Did he fill you in on the ground rules? Wasn't really listening. Well, there's a few things that you should know we don't tolerate around here. Like me? No, not you. Some of your opinions, maybe. Look, nobody asked me if I wanted to come here. No, they didn't. But now that you're here, why don't you make the best of it? For who? For all of us. Lars. This here is Buck. I'll show him where the bunkhouse is. Sure.
take that one there. Where's the gook sleep? Vincent? He's Filipino. He sleeps there. No way I'm sleeping near him. Well, you can take your pick upstairs or downstairs, but believe me, those are real animals down there. Animals up here, too. You sleep near him and it's big trouble. I've been sleeping next to him for weeks. He hasn't done nothing to me. Aren't you worried about the infection? What infection? Don't you know? All gooks have incredible, disgusting tapeworms. <laughs> all you have to do is breathe the same air as they do, and these ugly mothers start growing in your gut. All right, who told you that? My father. He got it once. It took a month before he knew. Bull. Oh, yeah? I'd keep my distance from Vincent if I were you. You never know when he's going to sneeze or something. He comes near me, and he's dead. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with Vincent. He's tough. He's from one of them gangs. We'll see how tough he is. Thanks. This thing weighs a ton. Why didn't you tell me you had heavy labor here? I've been wanting to get rid of this thing for a long time. You know, why'd you nail me? I'll get some help. Help! Yeah, I'm coming. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, put it down easy. Oh, thanks, Vince. <laughs> no problem. Why do you hate Asians? Who says I hate them? You were arrested vandalizing an Asian temple. So I don't like them. But why? Tell me. I mean, maybe I've been wrong about them all these years. Well, they hate us. How do you know? Your dad told you? My father worked in a tire store. Some Asians came along and bought the place, and they fired him. Well, that's a drag. How did you feel about that? I was proud that my father had the guts to do something about it. And your mom? Well, she couldn't take it. Guess she didn't recognize the conspiracy. Yeah. So that's the reason your dad hates them. What's yours? Yeah, I wasn't the one who started this. No, but you can be the one that ends it. Chapter 14. Don't try to make contact. No, it's chapter 28. Well, there's only 27 chapters in your book. Right. Hey, Vincent. I thought Lars was helping you. Yeah, well, he decided he didn't want anymore. services. So what are you on, his team? No, 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 I'm just an observer here. Great, then uh, you can observe me and I'll observe you. wrong with the food? Nothing. It's real good. Very tasty. Roberta. What's going on? I don't want to get a thing crawling around in my stomach. <laughs> that's, that's too much. I don't believe that. Too much. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, what is it? Forget it, Vincent. <clears throat> no, I want to know. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what does a gook kid call his dog? <laughs> 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 
dinner. <laughs> Stupid jerk! Hey, hey, come on, Jess! Hold it, relax! He has to hear it! Relax! Vincent, cool down. All right, what happened? Do you really think the ranch can take three months of this kid? What do you want me to do, Vic? Michael, a thing like this spreads like wildfire. You've got to stop it now before it poisons everyone here. Vic's right, you know. Punishing the boys is not going to be enough to resolve this. I, I had no choice. I've taken a lot of time and energy to build up a trust with Vincent. I couldn't let those kids get away with what they've done. Well, yeah, but you've got to confront Buck with the reality of the situation. Buck needs time. He's a little confused right now. Yeah. I can't decide if he's a borderline personality or a paranoid. Oh, well, don't try and label him with any neurosis. Yeah, but your book, it's very... No, forget my book. Each kid is different. And when you get in the field, you realize you've got to treat each kid differently. You've got to be spontaneous. You have to improvise. I'm going to take this book, okay? Yes, Your Worship. They're in the pipeline. That's right. Mr. Reed, I'm Buck Gaynor's father. Hmm. So, you've come to talk to me. Yeah. I've been checking on my visitation rights, and uh, nobody wants to tell me where my son is. That's correct. But why? The police report says there were some other men with your son. Obviously, he didn't tell us who they were. But I have my suspicions. <laughs> and that's the reason you're keeping me from my boy? Well, it's not up to me. The court figured a period of uh, separation might be good for Buck. Just for putting some graffiti on a wall. <laughs> well, it wasn't just graffiti, was it? There were racist slogans. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Reed, you know what kids are like. And adults. Mr. Gaynor, both you and I know how we feel about this. Now, your son was sentenced. I have nothing to do with it. Thanks, Mr. Reed. You're doing something useful. Do I have to do this, Fox? You wanted to help. This is all Vincent's fault, and we get grounded in heavy chores. What does he get? Soap the saddles. Lay off, Buck. We don't need more trouble. You think that's fair, Danny? Michael must love him. Forget it. Well, we gotta get him back. <laughs> right, and get punished again. Do you want him to get away with this? You wanted to hear the joke? All Lars did was tell him. I say we pay him back. I already told you, Buck. He's from one of those gangs. Oh, Slant's got no guts. We can take him. I don't want to get into nothing. You wait, that dip social worker standing right outside, she's going to hear us. I'll take care of her. Hey, Judith. You ready to take me up on my offer now? Your offer? About observing me. Yeah, if you mean real observation, yeah. You looking for something? No. I just want to see how tough you are without your gang around. I told Michael I wouldn't fight anymore. 
You mean you won't fight the three of us? I won't fight. I see a kid who's afraid to listen to what he knows is right instead of what his dad tells him. A kid is smart enough to straighten out. Hey, I'm straight. No drugs, no crime, no gangs. No hatred? Everybody hates somebody sometime. Get Michael. <laughs> What's the matter, you chicken? Oh, no, no, sorry, it's a, a Chinese chicken. <laughs> It's just a game. I don't do games. For your information, I have more important things to do. For instance, right now, some of the cattle have pink eye again. Come on, Fox. A little teamwork. Teamwork? Yeah. What do you think? Get into this, huh? All right. It's the ranch against the kids. What are the stakes? A trip to town and a movie, but you gotta win first. Movie, yeah. All right, all right, and I'll make a pizza, huh? Hey, and a pizza. Hey, yeah. Great. Michael's only trying to trick you. Don't do it. Oh, come on, Buck. We'll CC on the other team. We need all the help we can get. Ready? One, two, three. Don't think you're off the hook, Gook. Should have joined in. Leave me alone. No one's gonna brainwash me. I just thought you might like to have some fun. Just let me be. Michael isn't the enemy. He was all a setup, Judith. Michael was just trying to get me together with the gook. Michael was trying to help. And the kid's name is Vincent. He's still a gook. Do you hate everybody? How do you feel about blacks? Inferior. Jews? Well, let me just say that I think Hitler had the right idea. Is there anyone you do like? Well, you're okay, I guess. But then again, you're one of us. Well, how would you feel if I told you I was Jewish? Bull. 
Would it make a difference? Is it true? Would it make a difference? Damn right it would. Is it true? Yeah. <sighs> Am I any different than I was five minutes ago? So how many more of you people are Jews? What? You know something? You make me sick. There's Jews and gooks climbing all over the place in there. You better knock it off. You're even worse than they are. You don't deserve to be white. Let's talk about this in the bunkhouse. I'm not going into that gook-infested place. You stop it. I'm not going to stand here and talk to a Jew lover. You stop it. Why? You're going to stop me? I didn't think bleeding heart Jew lovers had the balls to hit a real man. Shut up! Uh, Michael! Don't. You will be okay, Michael. Your shoulder is a little sore. Blew it, Fox. He got to me. What do you think set him off? I think I know what set him off. Would you leave us alone for a minute, please? Oh, boy. I got him into my confidence and told him I'm Jewish. You what? I'm sorry. Do you have any idea how stupid that was? Well, I saw a way into him to get him to open up and let out his frustration. And once I got started, I just couldn't stop. Well, stop, Judith. For God's sake, stop. I mean, racism isn't even an issue here. You know what the issue is? I mean, all his life, this kid has been dumped on by his father, all his garbage, because his father has a major fear of failure problem or something. And now this poor kid has assumed it on himself, and it's not right. It's not fair, but what do I do about that? How do I fix that? I mean, the, it's the kid's dad, for God's sakes. I just made it worse. No, you haven't. What I did was much worse. Vincent, where are you going? Uh, nowhere, just to the house. It's there, Vincent. Yeah. I caught Vincent up to his old tricks again. <sighs> Trying to run away? Yeah. I thought we were past that. Well, maybe he doesn't feel safe here anymore. I spent so much time with him. Yeah, well, it only took Buck a couple days to ruin that. Hello. Yeah, Michael, uh, you rang? Oh, hi, Reed. Thanks for calling me back. Oh, Reed. I blew it, man. Don't tell me. Buck. I didn't hurt him. He's okay. Well, look, you did the right thing to call me. Now, I'm going to have to tell the judge. He'll want to see you in his chambers. Mm, yeah, okay. First thing in the morning. Yeah, right. First thing in the morning. Uh, fine. I'll be there. <clears throat> Thanks, Reed. Uh-oh. You knew what kind of kid Michael was dealing with. How do you think he started those riots? Do you expect me to overlook what happened, Mr. Reed? The kid was out of control. Your worship, Dr. Terry did what he had to do. It was just a shove. I was wrong. If that happened at one of our centers, you know what kind of an investigation there'd be. There's no excuse for what I did, Your Honor. Michael, stand up for yourself. If this reaches an inquiry, it could be bad for the ranch. May I remind Your Worship that it was at your insistence that Buck went to the ranch in the first place over my strenuous objections. I remember, Mr. Reed. And it's for that reason 
I'm sending Buck Gaynor to a correctional facility tomorrow. Uh, I think that's the best move for everyone involved. Oh. said from the beginning the kid's incorrigible you don't understand reed i wanted to hit him i was so upset by his hatred that i ended up hating him it's not hard to it takes strength which you obviously had or you might have hit him be happy the judge realizes you're only human michael even if you won't well that's not it man Buck shouldn't have been at the ranch in the first place. The ranch is exactly where Buck should have been. Maybe I shouldn't have been at the ranch. Look, Michael, it's all over with. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I don't like this, Jack. Look, this is my only chance to find out where my son is. You sure that guy Reed isn't in his office? Yeah, I called. He's out to lunch. I know the information's in there. You're crazy, Jack, man. This place is full of bleeding heart bureaucrats. If anyone Look, catches you, you just relax. Here. Just stand out here and wait. Some juvie dude ranch. They tried to put him in there once before. It'll be a cinch to get him out. You're gonna spray him? Well, there's no guards, no gates. It's wide open. Why not? I thought you just wanted to know where he was. Look, I gotta get my kid back. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't, huh? Maybe you're better off. What do you mean? Look, he's weak, Jack. He's not like you and me. You call my boy weak? Yeah, he's soft. He's more like your wife than you. He doesn't really believe what we believe. My I'm boy is as strong as I am. And don't you think I'm not strong enough to break you in half if you say another word about my son? So they're going to take you to a detention center. You want me to celebrate? No. But before you leave, I think there's something that you should know. Judith was lying when she told you that she was Jewish. She wanted you to understand something about your opinions. Yeah, well, I believed her. She was only trying to screw with my head. She shouldn't have done that, and she knows. But, but what do you feel about her now? At least she's not Jewish. I mean, I, I don't know. She's okay, I guess. Oh, one minute you liked her, then you hated her, and now she's okay, I guess? What changed? Now you're trying to screw with my head. No, I'm not. I just want to know how you can feel so differently about a person when the only thing that's changed is how you look at them. He's not going anywhere. Says who? Now we're gonna do this quick and clean. Nobody moves and nobody gets hurt. He was sent here by the courts. You can't violate that order. I'm making the rules now, and I'm taking my kid with me. And get away from that phone. <laughs> come on, let's go. You okay? Oh, come on, Buck. You don't have to go with him, Buck. Buck, you listen to your father. You just sit tight here and nobody gets hurt, all right? Where are we going, Dad? Never mind, just get in. Well, there wasn't too much I could do, Reed. He had a gun. 
I called the police and they've got an alert for the van. Yeah, that's the good news. The bad news is we're looking for Vincent, too. I think he might have taken off. CC, I'm feeling fine. Yeah, okay. You lie there a while. I guess I need to learn when to stay out of things, huh? Ah, you did your best, huh? I know, but it doesn't make up for that mistake I made with Buck. He stood up for you against his father? That means you must have made some progress, huh? How come you didn't write a chapter on failure? I prefer to live it. <laughs> Judith, the only good thing about that book is that it paid for this place. I'm still learning all over again. Well, I guess I am too, then. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Come on. Has anybody seen Vincent? Mm -hmm. Me. When did you see him last? Well, well, me and Vincent were sitting around talking, because well, Vincent's not a bad guy, and then he got up and said he'd be right back, but he never came back. That's all I know. No sign of him. He might have taken off. Wouldn't surprise me after all he put up with for the other kids. You'd have to be crazy to go out there tonight. It's gonna go far south of zero. Well, I guess I must be crazy. I'll go take a horse into the woods and see if he took a shortcut to the highway. I'll take the Jimmy. He probably tried to hitch a ride into town. I'll meet you at the second crossroad. Okay. Can't we get some heat in this thing? <sighs> Heater's busted. You know, I don't remember seeing this road. I found it on a map. No one will see us here. It gives us a good chance to get away. Ha <laughs> I got it all planned out. Why'd you do it, Dad? Get you out? Because I want you with me, Buck. I mean, you're all I got in the world. They can't keep us apart. But if you get caught, you're going to go to jail. Look, I'm not going to get caught. Now we got some important work to do in the city. We gotta get back. What if I don't wanna go? Look, Buck, I know what's best for you, all right? Here, buddy. Here. You're gonna need these when you find Vincent. Thanks, Fox. If you find anything, call me in that radio. I think we can make it back to the ranch. No way. Look, I'm gonna go down to the main road, see if I can find some help. You just sit tight here in case somebody comes along, all right? Okay, but hurry, it's freezing. I just wanted to ride out of the ranch. If I'd known it was you, I would have stayed there. Well, right now, you're staying here. My dad's got a little insurance in case the police catch up with us. They're not going to do anything if we get a hostage. Listen, don't want any trouble. Oh, you never do. Vic, you find anything? If he's on foot, I should have caught up with him by now. Or maybe he caught a ride. I'll see you at the crossroad. OK. You don't have to keep that thing on me. Your hands will be warmer in your pocket. Won't have you escape? Just like this? I don't want to freeze. Want to buy it? Chocolate helps give the energy to stay warm. No. What's the matter? Afraid of tapeworms? Just shut up!
Vic, it's getting too dark. We'll have to turn back. What about Vincent? We'll have to report him missing. That means we lost two kids in one night. if we stay here. My father told me to wait for him here. Look, my hands are numb. That means yours are too. I'm just going to see if the lighter will work. Battery's dead. So are you if you try anything. Buck. When are you going to realize if we're going to live through this, we've got to help each other? I don't need your help. My dad will be back. One chance. If we both get into this box, back to back, we can get some heat. How do you know? I had to sleep on the streets in the winter. Where's your son? He's in the truck. Just keep thinking about things. Anything. Just stay awake. Buck. Buck! Wake up! Stay awake! You're not gonna let me outlive you! I'm a gook, remember? Buck! Hate me! Fuck! Too cold. He's in real bad shape. Fuck! We gotta get him back to the ranch before he dies of exposure. Die! Oh. Dad! Buck, you okay? Yeah, thanks to Vincent. It's okay, you helped me survive. Look, uh, I gotta go away for a while, but uh, they can't hold me for too long. Can't keep us apart. They can't, but I can. What do you mean? Tapeworms, Dad. Slogans, bashing, no more. It's time. Well, just a week.
week later and everything's back to normal. Hmm. Especially with me going back. Well, there's no such thing as normal around here. I still feel bad about Buck. Well, without you, we might have lost him. At least this way, while his dad's in jail, he'll be getting therapy. And by the time he reaches 18, he might have a chance. Yeah. Well, I was just following the advice in your book. If something doesn't work, you try something else. That reminds me, I've got a little going away present for you. <laughs> First edition. Yeah. Oh, inscribed by the author. This is going right onto my shelf. Aunt Judith, would you do me a favor? Would you leave it on your shelf? <laughs>